Christmas in Australia is anything but a winter wonderland. It's the middle of summer for us, so it's hot, it's humid, and a traditional Christmas with the family generally has less to do with snow and building snowmen and all that sort of stuff, and more having a cold lunch on a hot day, maybe going to the beach afterwards, or having a game of football or cricket in the backyard. So instead of having those traditional images of Christmas, because frankly summer just isn't that compatible with it, we kind of compensate by doing other things. And today I thought I wanted to merge those two things, having the mixture of winter and summer in a nice little treat that will go great for Christmas no matter where you are in the world. Let's try these beautiful tropical snowballs on the One Pot Chef. So tropical snowballs probably sounds like a bit of a contradiction in terms, I know, but basically I just wanted to give it a name that conveyed the fact that it looks like winter and it tastes like summer and it's a great combination of flavours that's perfect for whether you have a hot Christmas or a traditional cold Christmas. So here's how you make them. First things first, we need to drain some pineapple. I've got a 400 gram can of crushed pineapple. Basically it's pineapple that's just been blitzed up in a blender. I recommend using pineapple that's in juice rather than syrup because I find the syrup one tends to be way too super sweet and it ends up being a bit difficult to drain and we want to drain the excess juice off this. So basically I've got a bowl and I've got a strainer and we're just going to tip one into the other. This is a 400 gram can which is a decent size amount and all we're going to do is just gently press the pineapple down until all the excess juice has run out. The reason we're doing this is because we don't want the juice in our mixture because it tends to make the mixture a bit too sloppy and then it ends up being a bit too difficult to roll into balls and we end up with creamy pineapple goo, which isn't really what we're going for. Once the juice has been drained off, you can either discard the juice, drink it, or freeze it for a smoothie some other time, but we don't actually need the juice for this recipe, so just do what you need to do. Next, in a large mixing bowl, I've got two blocks of Philadelphia style cream cheese, about 500 grams in total, and I've left it to go to room temperature so it's nice and soft and easy to mix. Don't worry about my finger, I did wash my hands. Now all we need to do is put our drained pineapple in as well. And I'm also putting in two cups of finely chopped nuts. I'm using crushed peanuts today, but you can use any nuts you prefer. If however, you have a nut allergy or if you just don't like nuts, you can replace this with two cups of finely chopped cookies or biscuits of your choice. Chocolate chip cookies will be particularly good for this. Now all we need to do is just smush this all together until it's completely combined. And for a little bit of extra sweetness, we're just going to add in some sugar. I'm using some icing sugar today or powdered sugar or confectioner's sugar, whatever you want to call it, depending on where you are in the world. I'm putting in about two tablespoons and we're just going to carefully mix that through as well. Give it a taste afterwards, see if it's sweet enough for you. If it's not, you can always add a bit more. Now obviously this mixture is too sort of soft to do anything with at the moment, so what we're going to do is cover this with some cling wrap and we're going to pop this in the fridge for an hour or so just until the mixture has firmed up and then we'll be ready to roll them into balls. One hour later I've taken our mixture out of the fridge. It is chilled and slightly firmed up. I've also got a bowl of desiccated coconut. That's dried, finely shredded coconut. This is unsweetened. You can get a sweetened version of coconut if you want, but I think this has already got enough sugar in it as it is, and I think it's probably just adding a bit of extra to it if you've got sweetened coconut on the outside too. So all we need to do is we're going to take tablespoonfuls of the mixture, and then using clean hands just roll them into balls like so then simply toss them in the coconut until they are coated all on the outside then simply place them onto a baking tray lined with some non-stick baking paper I managed to make about two dozen tropical snowballs out of this amount of mixture using tablespoonfuls of the mixture. You could easily double the amount 
of truffles by simply using a smaller spoon like a teaspoon and making them smaller balls. Now, all we need to do is pop this tray into the fridge for about four hours to chill and allow the mixture to firm up completely and then they are ready to eat. While our tropical snowballs are chilling in the fridge, I thought I'd just take this opportunity to remind you to check out my social media, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Links in the video description underneath this video on YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it. That way you won't miss out on any of my new videos. And here we have our completed tropical snowballs looking absolutely gorgeous. Once they're chilled you can transfer them into an airtight container for up to four days and keep them in the fridge until you're ready to serve them. These are great for Christmas parties, they're good for giving away as edible gifts or for just simply having as a little sweet snack on the big day itself. Looks like winter, tastes like summer and they are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to pop these down. Now grab one, I'm going to have a taste. Mmm. Look at that. Mmm. <laughs> oh, that's delicious. <laughs> The first thing that hits you is that this is a really interesting combination of tastes and textures. You've got the smooth, cool, richness, creaminess of the cream cheese. You've got the sweet, slightly sharp flavour of pineapple. You've got the crunchiness of the peanuts. And of course, you've got the beautiful coconut on the outside that just brings everything together. And you've got that weird combination of sweet, slightly salty from the cream cheese. It's just a great idea. It really tastes amazing. And whether you're having a hot Christmas here in Australia or a cold Christmas up in the Northern Hemisphere, this is guaranteed to be very, very popular. They're easy to throw together. They don't take much work. Only a handful of ingredients. What more could you possibly ask for? Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com. And until next time, ho, ho, ho. I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you to everyone who's followed me and supported me this year on the One Pot Chef Show channel here on YouTube. It's been an amazing year. We've had ups, we've had downs, we've had weird stuff coming in from the left that no one saw coming. But one way or the other, I've had an amazing year. I've had so much fun sharing my recipes with you guys and I look forward to doing much more of that in the new year. So I'm going to be taking a week or two off over the Christmas break and then I will be back early in January with more fun and frivolity here in the kitchen. I almost said something else then. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I hope you have a fun, safe and enjoyable holiday period. Lots of love to you all. See you guys later.